<laughs> By just wearing it, anyone can become a performer, an evolving wearable device. We asked the venture about the potential of its device. I visited a music studio to see how it works. I asked Emi Tamaki, the developer of the device, for a demonstration. <laughs> Wearing an arm belt with built-in electrodes called the possessed hand, I tried to play saxophone for the first time in my life. <laughs> By moving my fingers with electrical cues from the belt, I could even play the koto. How does the arm belt control fingers? A computer program sends orders to the possessed hand to make certain fingers move. Then, the band transmits electrical signals to nerves in the arm and controls muscles for each finger. By electrical stimulus, the fingers move involuntarily. <laughs> Miss Tamaki's own experience gave her the idea of the technology to control human hands by electrical stimulus. She had a heart problem from birth. Hospitalized repeatedly during her high school years, she wondered if one could experience things happening outside while at home in bed. In addition to visual and auditory senses, she wanted to feel the outside world by the sense of touch. She went to graduate school of the University of Tokyo and established the technology of the possessed hand. Her idea has received worldwide praise. She is now working on how to apply the technology of the possessed hand to computer games and hopes to develop an original controller by March next year. The player can feel a character's damage in the game through this device. With wearable devices, her dreams of greater virtual experiences have become more real. Facebook、Twitter、3D で触覚までいけると、さらにより臨場感があって、いろんな人の体験を追体験するということが将来的にはできてくるんじゃないかなと思っています。